Hello and welcome back to Under Workbench. Today we're taking a look at a product from CRC Automotive called Freeze Off Super Penetrant with Freeze Shock Action. This is basically advertised as it's supposed to basically freeze a really tough uh, and rusted nut and bolt combination and that the freeze stall expansion and contraction will help to break the stubborn fastener free. Now whenever I've used this, I've generally actually had pretty good success with it, but the question I've never really been able to answer is, does it actually get cold and how cold does it get? And so today I kind of want to answer that question. So I've got a beaker here at my freeze off can and I've got a multimeter with a test probe that I'm going to put into the beaker. Then we're going to spray the test probe with the freeze off. And my multimeter here will give us the temperature. And so we'll set the temperature in Fahrenheit. My apologies to those that prefer it to be in centigrade. And so you can see right now my ambient temp temperature is 81.1 81 .1 degrees, give or take. And now I'm going to take the can of freeze off and I'm going to see how cold this gets the temperature probe. We're at 80.7. So now I'm just going to simply spray the probe and we'll see how it goes. And so there you go. You saw that a couple times it got below 32 degrees. So indeed it does help to freeze the bolt and get it tight. And you can see what the color of the solution here is this kind of orangish yellow uh, combination. Supposedly has a penetrating oil with it, but it definitely dropped the temperature on it and did get it below freezing. So I think that's pretty interesting. I thought I'd share that result with you today. Now for comparison, I've got the good old standby PB blaster. Just as a reference, I've cleaned up uh, from the earlier test with the freeze off. And I just want to see if there's any uh, similar cooling effect attributable just to the aerosol effect coming out of the can. So we're going to give this a quick shot and uh, see if that has any comparison or it can drop it down the same way that the freeze off did. So right now after cleanup here, we're up to about 83.5 degrees Fahrenheit here on the meter. Hopefully you can see that in frame. And now we're going to use the PB blaster and I'm going to spray this onto our needle here. And let's see if I can keep this, my hand out of the way of, there we go, I think that should work. And as you can see, it appears there is no cooling effect of the PB blaster due to the aerosol as a reference and that indeed the super freeze off does have a cooling capacity to be able to cool down the parts as you saw earlier. My personal experience has seen that, that the freeze -off, super freeze off has worked well and I think here's some test data here that indicates that it actually does do some cooling. I didn't quite go all the way down as cold as I was hoping to see it go but definitely got below 32 and so I thought that was interesting. Uh, draw your own conclusions. You got any other comments or thoughts on what you think about Super Freeze Off? Put it in the comments below. I'll put a link to it on Amazon if you're interested in finding it there. You can also find it at some of your local auto parts store. And at least in my experience, I found it to be useful and the data seems to indicate that, yeah, it does do something. So if you found this video useful, please give it the thumbs up and I'll see you back here for another video. Have a great day. Bye.